Welcome back to another video on my channel. We are back in Minecraft 1.19 Let's Play. Last video we got quite overpowered and we also built three mega farms. Today I want to upgrade our arm a little bit more because obviously there are a few things that we could add like swift sneak to the leggings and also uh, soul speed to the boots to try and get soul speed so here are some piglings and they're gonna attack me if i don't throw them some gold let's spleef you down right there and then let's also maybe set up a trail for these guys to lead them down into there as well and you're dead you're not surviving that one yep you can see you got wrecked these should slowly be led down into that hole and we are literally just waiting for a pair of boots or not a pair of boots a book with soul speed i think this is the only way you can get it or i think you can also get it from bastions on the low chance but what hit me why did you hit me get in the hole uh maybe let's throw a few there and then let's wait for them to go and get that and then we can knock them down into the hole. That's probably the best thing to do. Uh, before they actually start hitting me. Nope, you're hitting me. Take that. Now there is a ghast that's come out of nowhere. While we are sitting here waiting for them piglings to barter. I did also off camera upgrade our... Or get a upgraded axe. And also an upgraded shovel. These are now pretty much stacked out. They both have silk touch on them. I didn't know what to get on these. I think Silk Touch is the best thing because obviously then mining bookcases or mining grass would obviously then give us the Silk Touch version. The only thing I don't have is a hoe, but if I quickly just place this shulker box down, you can see I have also got a shield with mending and breaking, a flint and steel with mending and breaking, a shears with mending and breaking, and also a fully upgraded fishing rod. I just need a hoe now. And then also some other things like a trident and stuff like that. We used almost two stacks of gold. I just need to get rid of them skeletons. We didn't get a single soul speed book. That kind of sucks. I guess we're going to have to go and hunt for more gold. But in the meantime, let's quickly go and hunt for an ancient city for swift sneak. I know there is a deep dark over there. That is obviously where the village is. This looks like the perfect area an ancient city would spawn. Now, if you know, if you're wondering how I know that, ancient cities most commonly spawn, or at least deep darks, most commonly spawn under the tallest of mountains. And this mountain goes up to around, as you can see, we're at level 53 here. I think it goes up to around 150, maybe 200. Ancient cities always spawn with the actual floor of the city at minus negative 50. Minus negative 50 why minus 50 or minus 52 so the best thing to do if you're looking for an ancient city just basically strip mine at minus 52 we just dug straight into one this is actually quite good and a actual thing there's actually a mine shaft here as well so we need to be careful i wasn't actually expecting one to be here but we just need to try and land out of the way and now oh no that wasn't good right we're now in the deep dark ancient city which we are literally just here for a, a swift sneak book once we've got that we can leave so okay i do actually want to try and get the music this fragment as well why we're here i guess that's something we can do we've got some coal let's quickly just throw some of this junk that's quite rubbish i will take the horse armor and stuff as well i've now got a swift sneak free book and i'm out of here i just got uh, sonic boomed by a warden i think there's like six wardens down there at this point point. and there we go back to the surface just like that we need to remember underneath this mountain right here there is an ancient city because i do want to go back to that at some point while we're heading back home i want to quickly show you a time lapse because we are now in 1.19.1 and i have built a la duplication area. area let's quickly just upgrade our leggings i didn't actually get enough uh discs fragments or echo shards to make the music disc or the actual uh, what's it called the uh, recovery compass but we can always do that later when we go and explore fully 
but let's throw that on there. And that's now a full enchanted leggings. The only thing that we haven't got fully enchanted now is, I believe, the boots. And they just need actual soul speed. But actually looting that ancient city was quite good. I thought that was a creeper. Because we actually got some amethyst shards. And obviously you need them to make the uh, alleys duplicate. Ignore that tree there. I grew that just because I needed some leaves. But we need to head over here to begin with. Because off camera, I have actually lit up this area. I've just put some moss carpets and these moss carpets have torches under. Just so nothing can spawn when I'm AFK in there. Because then when I actually come out, they just blow up or attack me. If I quickly just uh, show you this mod, it's called Mini HUD. And I can actually turn on block light, which as you can see, no... Where near here, the block light goes below zero until you're like decent area apart. So nothing can spawn within the radius of like, I don't know, 20 blocks of the actual mangrove tree farm. Now we can actually head over here without any more distractions. As you can see above our nether portal, I built an LA duplication area. It's not complete. And if I quickly just open up Lightmatica, I can turn the schematic on. You can see that up here, there are some glass blocks missing because I didn't actually have enough glass to finish it, but the majority of it is finished. And ignore them LAs in there. They are part of the schematic just because I was obviously testing to make sure it works. But I can now actually turn this off. You will see that the LAs will disappear upon turning this off. They're literally just like holograms. Now we just need to get this LA in there because obviously this is the only LA we have. We did have two. But the second one died, sadly, uh, due to a creeper explosion, I think, in, like, episode 3. There we go. The LA is now in here, so we will always remember this one LA because it has a different name to the others. And eventually, I want to decorate this, so this path connects up to the rest down here, maybe that path. And I do need to do some work there, because as you can see, I've just carved it out. I haven't actually terraformed any of it. But this should now work. So if I put a music disc inside of here pick step and then you should dance right clicking you will duplicate you and yes it has so now in five minutes i will be able to duplicate them again and we can just have a load of LAs flying around here i have done a little bit of cleaning up around the base as you can see i've neatened this area out here it's a bit more neat there isn't just random holes or piles of dirt all over the place and I have also bred up the LAs a little bit more and also neatened this area up over here. I haven't touched this, which I think that's what I want to do next. But I also want to... There's a jelly cat. I'm pretty sure that's quite rare. I have also removed Optifine because it's causing quite a few lag issues in 1.19.1. I need to do more testing with it. I don't know why, but my FPS just drops really bad when I have Optifine on the world. My guess is there might be mobs or something in a bundle underground that's just causing it to be really bad. But removing it seems to help. So, as you can see, I've bred the LAs right here. And there, it looks really cool. Just having the LAs flying about in there. Now, I have noticed now and again they will get caught on the carpet, as you can see right here. They will also get caught on the Xalia bushes now and again. The reason I actually think they're getting caught on these carpets is because underneath that is a torch just to keep in here lit and i think they're just trying to get out of it that's what i think they're trying to do but just looking at this place it looks so cool obviously we haven't got connected textures now that i've removed up the fine the next thing i want to do is decorate the pathway because i think we're gonna have the pathway obviously go from this part of the door and i think we're gonna have it go around down to maybe here and I think it's going to curve down this sort of direction. Let's quickly just remove all the grass. Or we could do both and have it so it goes down at the diagonal. I'll obviously terraform this to make it look better. But it now goes down into diagonal and then obviously meets up here. I think that could look cool. Now, what's happened here? Uh, the frogs have been pulled by the leads. And it seems like they've got stuck. Now, what I want to do is let's bring the actual goat farm and i think building it here is going to be good because it's going to fill in that sort of area there so let's quickly break every single thing here and then i can rebuild it over there it shouldn't take too long because it's pretty simple i now have it all so let's plan out where i actually want this let's maybe dig that back a little bit more 
And I don't want it too close to the path. So let's maybe start it there. And then carry on here. I don't actually remember how big it was. I can maybe go off this. So it was what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 blocks. Okay, let's do that over here. That's 3. Uh, that's 6. That's 9. Swift Sneak is a good thing to have. But sometimes it can be really annoying. I just misplaced the trapdoor 4 times due to Swift Sneak. Because when you crouch, I don't actually expect it to move me that quick. And yeah, sometimes it can just be more annoying than it is good. So now we've done that, let's quickly just flap all these trapdoors shut. And then the door needs to go right there. Perfect. I would like the door to open the other way. So can I do that? Uh, how do I make it? So maybe place it on that part of the block? Yeah, because then obviously it opens out from the path, which is good. Then inside of here, we just need to quickly break the whole floor. And we need to put that right there. With the piston here, I think. Yes, with then the stone on top of that. And then I think these go all the way to the end. So if we put the string right there and then break down next to it, I think we need to go one below that because well, then we need to look up and place that on there. Then I think actually just doing that is going to work. Uh, I think so. Let's open that trap door and let's glide out of there. Now let's place that back. I believe this should work. We can obviously test it just by running on this. And okay, it zero ticks it, which I think actually works fine. I, yeah, I think even if we put a bit of redstone underneath, that is still going to uh, zero tick it. But that works absolutely fine. Now all we need to do is place the roof on top, which I think I'm actually going to use these uh, glass blocks here. Just because it will match with the rest of it. Apart from the glass being a different colour to the trap doors. And there we go. That now looks a little bit better. It's more out of the way. It's not randomly just placed down over here anymore. Which is good. We can now take the goat horns. Which I don't actually think I'm going to have enough room for them. There we go. I now have three stacks of rockets. One thing I do also quickly want to mention. Inside of this chest is actually every single item we are currently farming from this area. It's not everything fish related due to if I had to get every single item we got from fishing, that would just be way too much. But this is everything from that farm, the mangrove farm, the iron farm, and also the mob farm, which is actually almost a single chest just for like, what, the four farms we have built. But anyway, that is where I'm going to end this video. Off camera, I'm going to test this farm a little bit more, decorate this room a little bit, and I'll show you what I do off camera, or what I do off camera, I'll show you in the next video. But I really need to get this video edited and finished. So if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!